to which Kenyans better ending of 2023 today and the better beginning of 2024 tonight or tomorrow so that uh, with a serious hope that 2024 will not be like 2023 where Kenyans have lost their purchasing power living in a roaded economy living in an economy that requires a lot of panel beating to make sure that each and every Kenyan can have something on the table as a meal. And I, will, I, will, I want to promise our employers and uh, those uh, uh, who have employed our workers that it is our duty as usual as a responsible trade union movement on the continent, Africa and in the whole world that we will redouble our efforts in our various places of work to make sure that we supplement to the efforts that are being made by various people, various Kenyans, serious Kenyans, to change uh, our economy, to grow our economy, to spur economic growth, and hence uh, get benefits out of it. But also, as we redouble our efforts in various working places, we need to be compensated by our employers and government on the hard work Kenyans are trying to display. That is our policy, and we, I want to assure workers we are alert and we are not going to abandon. A worker or our affiliates are also alert that we must do something to improve our terms and conditions of service of our working people in this Republic of Kenya. We have suffered 2023. We don't expect to suffer 2024. And we are together, and we cannot, we are not so competent to tell Kenya Kwanzaa government that this is how you are supposed to run the country. It is their entire responsibility to run the government uh, and for the betterment of our Kenyans and more so for workers. But when we require compensation of our working people who have lost, whose uh, purchasing power is eroded, the government must listen to us, employers must listen to us, as we have been honest, sincere, and specific on issues.